So if you're thinking about getting a crayfish or if you already have one, uh, here are a few tips, some pointers, and some advice on taking care of them. To start off, you don't necessarily have to worry about the water conditions as crayfish are very hard, very hardy creatures. Uh, what's more important is the space that the tank is going to provide. Now there's different opinions, but no set in stone amount of space that a crayfish needs. However, in my research and personal experience, I've found that a minimum minimum of 10 gallons will suffice and note that I say suffice I'm not saying that's the very bare minimum or that's the most or anything like that it's just a good rule of thumb uh, for the crayfish to be healthy because this creature gets to be around five inches more space merrier what's more important to the to the crayfish's health and well-being is that there are hiding spaces hiding spaces are a must have in any in any crayfish aquarium uh, having movable substrate such as sand and gravel that the crayfish can dig into will definitely make it feel right at home, feel safe. You can use uh, a rock, a piece of driftwood, some decor. Those are all perfect things for crayfish to dig under and create burrows. Um, it's really important that you provide plenty of spaces to hide, even more so if you plan on introducing multiple crayfish into your fish tank. Uh, despite the fact that crayfish are aggressively territorial, it is possible to keep multiple crayfish in an aquarium if you follow the 10 gallon per crayfish rule. Um, the big debate about crayfish is that some people say that keeping one is the absolute safest thing. Some people say that it's okay to keep as many as you like. Um, I'm not here to tell you what to or what not to do. Um, I just want to give you some advice on <clears throat> on uh, my personal experience with them. I have two crayfish. This is the male and the female. Um, I give them plenty of hiding spaces. As you can see right here, he's uh, he was hanging out in this, uh, this piece of driftwood. It has a bunch of holes in it. Uh, the female likes, uh, I think I put a rock. She made a couple holes down there. They all keep to themselves. Um, and I think as, as long as you're putting a... A lot of hiding spaces for them to get into they're not going to be as aggressive they are nocturnal so go ahead and check up on them at night <sighs> um, and yeah just keep in mind that providing places for crayfish to burrow and hide will make them less aggressive now there's no guarantee that they won't ever fight but these are just a couple of things that you could do uh, to aid in the peaceful keeping of multiple crayfish now the thing about crayfish is that it's common to feed your crayfish fish pellets, but they are omnivores. This means that they eat meat and other animals. Um, well, same thing. They eat vegetation and animals. Uh, you're going to look at many articles online and watch many videos, but the truth is that no animal or plant is completely safe from the crayfish. Um, they have extremely powerful claws that can cause pernicious damage to your aquatic, an to your aquatic animals. Um, what do I mean by pernicious? Um, they don't necessarily need to catch your fish in order to do damage to it. Um, if a crayfish were to rip out a little chunk of another fish or take out an eye, something like that, um, it's going to cause a lot of problems for your fish, a lot of stress, and you might end up losing some fish. Um, now, I wouldn't present a problem that I didn't have the answer to. I've done just believe me, I've done hours of research online, on videos, on books. Um, we just wasted so much time trying to figure out how to keep crayfish with other fish. And in the end, I found nothing. A lot of people, what they do is they tie up the crayfish's claws. Um, some people yank it out, some people chop it off. And this is so that they don't catch the fish. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. However, I do want to be able to keep my crayfish with other fish. So what I what I decided to do after <laughs> sitting down and thinking for maybe an hour straight, I finally just thought, well, what if we don't chop off the crayfish's claws? Um, what if we just go after what's really causing the damage? And this would be the inner claw. So what I did was I got my crayfish and carefully, gently just nipped the inner claw right here and threw him back in. She 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 swam to the bottom, she hid. Um, I'm guessing it caused a little discomfort, but I feel it's more respectful than yanking its off its arm off, um, yanking 
its legs off. It, it just really didn't make sense to me. And by doing this, you're let, you're allowing the crayfish to keep its claw, um, the claw is part of its natural anatomy. So ripping it off, it's it's going to deprive it of being able to climb, being able to walk, being able to find food. It's going to cause it stress. And by doing it my way, you're going to allow it to still walk, still be able to climb, um, still have its natural anatomy. It's going to feel it's going to feel it's going to feel safer to be less stressed. So if you would like a video on how I do it. If you don't if you don't quite understand what I'm talking about, just message me and I'll make a quick video for you. Um, again, I just uh, take the crayfish out of the water over the fish tank, grab some very sharp scissors and just nip off the inner the inner claw and just drop it back. Let them let them swim somewhere safe up and find a little burrow and it's just gonna ease ease the tension. As far as plants go I would not recommend you having a crayfish if you have rooted plants. Um, what I do recommend if you just have to have plants in your fish tank like I do is try this plant called Anubius Nana. I've tried pretty much every top fin plant they sell at PetSmart. Every live plant that they sell at PetSmart. I kind of gave up on PetSmart but I found this, this, uh, this plant. And it's the only one that that actually grew. Um, again, it's called Anubius Nana. It requires little to nothing um, as far as attention, and it'll grow really, really green and beautiful in a beginner's fish tank. Even um, try that. Um, stick it to the stick it to anything that your crayfish is not going to be able to get to. So if you have a really tall piece of driftwood, you can attach it to the top. If you have get creative like what I did was I got a suction cup and I attached the Anubius Nana to it and I just planted it against the wall um, I might do a, a follow-up video when it, where I show you how to do that but those are just ideas and you can you can take if you have to have uh, plants in your fish tank and if you don't have a plant in your fish tank this is a, a perfect starter plant for you um, you're eventually going to reach the level <laughs> of a fish tank keeper when you start keeping uh, plants. I highly recommend this plant. It's called Anubius Nana. And with that said, again, uh, you don't necessarily have to be so specific with the water conditions. Uh, there's no set in stone amount of space it needs, but 10 gallons will do. Uh, this creature gets around five inches. You're gonna need a movable substrate, sand, gravel. Um, you're gonna need some rocks, driftwood, whatever you're gonna throw in there. Just as long as there's plenty of hiding spaces. Remember, you can keep it with other other crayfish. Just be mindful that they they all need their own uh, places to hide and places to burrow. Um, if you're gonna keep it with other fish, know that they will hunt them. They will catch them. So you will need to clip the inner claw, um, no more than half, half of the inner claw. Um, you can feed them fish pellets. Um, I don't recommend you really you really feed them fish pellets unless you've trained them to come to you because you're just going to be throwing fish pellets in there. Um, I recommend uh, at night before you go to sleep. Uh, if you if you have lights, uh, turn them off. But before you turn them off, get a get a worm. Try this out. Grab a uh, an earthworm. If you can't afford to buy them at a pet store or at a fish shop, um, I guess catch one outside. <laughs> and just cut it in half and throw it into your fish tank. Um, if you crayfish, don't go for it instantly. But I can guarantee you that by the time you wake up, that worm that worm will not be in there. Um, again, they're nocturnal, so they hunt at night. But yes, I recommend that you feed them worms. They love worms. They love catching worms. They love eating worms. And they pretty much finish them up. If you have no access, fish pellets are fine. Um, an expensive treat for them would be plants. Although, it's sort of a waste because you're going you're gonna to be spending $5 on a plant that they're just going to show up and eat. Again, this, uh, this is at your discretion. The, the main thing that I want to share with you is that 
you're gonna watch a lot of videos and you're gonna including this one and you're gonna do a lot of research um, just keep in mind that this is your fish tank don't let anyone else tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing um, take what you think is right take what take what you're what you're learning and sort of mash them up into your own creative your own personal way of taking care of this crayfish this is how you're gonna build experience and um, some of the best fish keepers can tell you that this is completely true